Well, prison rates are rising and nearly 70% of all male prisoners find themselves rearrested. Actor Tim Robbins and the Culver City group known as the Actors Gang recently took me behind bars to see how they're using acting to change lives. And when you down so many years, the faces you're used to seeing are just frowns and, and angry looks. I guess from being in prison and being locked up, you put up barriers and you don't let people in. You can basically erase your old self and paint up a whole new one. It's a monochrome room full of vibrant energy where time flies for those serving time. Surrounded by nearly two dozen inmates, the man with the beat Everyone is, now doing it. is not new to the prison scene. Actor Tim Robbins played an innocent man convicted of murder in the Shawshank Redemption. But today, the role Robbins is performing transcends any role he's ever played. And I'm talking about stuff that's pretty deep and profound and in your spirit and your soul that you're receiving. I trust you, everyone gets seen. Along with Culver City's The Actors Gang Prison Project, Robbins is at Norco Prison, a medium security facility, for eight weeks. He's teaching prisoners how to act and free their souls. You know, they're being asked to do things they've never done before in their life. Open up emotionally and put makeup on and, you know, put costumes on, pretend to be people. And it's, you know, it's weird stuff. Yes. Why did Tim Robbins get involved with going to prisons and working with inmates? Well, about seven years ago, uh, one of our actors came to me, Sabra Williams, and she said, uh, I would like to start a prison project, and uh, something that she had done in, in England, and I became a teacher in it. Every Tuesday for five feverish hours, Robbins is among 15 rotating acting coaches directing inmates to express emotions of fear, anger, happiness, and sadness. You, you never are um, encouraged to express your emotions in prison. And this class says it's okay to feel this kind of emotion, to respond with fear to a threat, to have empathy for someone that is constantly hostile. It's okay to laugh at the absurdity of the situation. The Actors Gang Prison Project is one of the last standing art rehabilitation programs in California prisons. We live in the same society as these guys. I feel that we're doing the work of the state. We have never had any public money. It's in our, all of our interests to make sure that people are rehabilitated and do better when they come out of prison. Here's a place that they can, they can be, have a sense of community with other guys, guys that, uh, that they see every day but don't have a relationship with. It's a place for them to actually be treated like a human being. We can say to them, it doesn't matter if you like the person next to you. When we step on the stage, it's a different world. It's a world where it matters what you do. <laughs> Inmate Zach was one of the first to take that leap of faith. He's been with the prison project since the start. So in here you get to experiment, experiment with it and you get to find out kind of who you really are. <laughs> Every time we walk into this room, it, it's an escape. We are no longer in prison. It actually, it, it, we feel free. Everyone that's in happiness. Norco inmates like 27-year-old Joshua, now serving eight years, witness the change. And it's the opposite of, of prison. I'm hanging around with a white person or a black person. I'm hanging around with, uh, you know, someone that's real um, energetic or, you know, happy or, or sad. And, and you, you get to experience these different types of uh, people. I think the profundity of it is that there's, it's coming from such a dark place. It's coming from a place that is empty and devoid of humanity. And somehow these guys are finding it through this work. Uh, currently, the prison project has a waiting list of 200 for the next program. They're hoping to gain more funding in order to expand the workshop to other prisons. For more information on the Actors Gang, just go to cbsla.com 
And Paul, I have to say that everyone that's participated in this program so far has not re-offended. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, somebody we all are pretty familiar with by now, the football player that was wrongly convicted, Brian Banks, Brian Banks yeah. he went through the program. Yeah. So. You know, if you if the video, if you could just freeze the portraits of those guys in the white face with the costumes and stuff, the pictures, the portraits would be the antithesis of every picture you ever see of an inmate in prison. Oh, for these sure. These guys are smiling, they're expressive. Absolutely. They're energized. Yeah, yeah. It's the antithesis of it. Yeah, it's it's more than just uh, giving guys something to do. Mm -hmm. They really find out more about themselves yeah, exactly. and try to change their behavior, their lives. It's it's really a, a project that works. And uh, Good Tim is hoping that, Good you know, the state will pay attention and yeah. other people maybe will donate to Good them. for everybody involved. Yeah.